I won't be back in 7,000 years, Paul, so I better catch it now. I'm fairly certain that I also will not be back in 7,000 years. You're looking at what is back, and that is the fog that is streaming past our Salesforce tower cameras as we speak. Just a typical July weather pattern. If you're not in the fog and you do want to catch a glimpse of that comet, binoculars would help. Look to the northwest again right after the sun goes down. Within about an hour or two after sunset is when you'll have the best viewing, and it's going to be real close to the horizon for now but it will climb just a little farther above the horizon over the next week or so. Typical summertime weather pattern. We're seeing some fog along the coast, and you are seeing that from the satellite perspective. Let's zoom in for a real close look. You can even see that fog streaming through the Golden Gate, just aimed right at Berkeley and Richmond. Fog is going to spread across the bay and spread inland as we head through the rest of tonight. Farther inland, plenty of sunshine, including San Jose. Temperature made it up to 87 degrees in Livermore, 83 degrees in San Jose, right where we thought it would be in the Santa Clara Valley. 81 degrees Santa Rosa, only 75 in Fremont, and 67 in the city with 65 degrees for Half Moon Bay. But at least you made the mid-60s before you drop back. Still 71 degrees at SFO, but the downtown temperature is 62 degrees right now in San Francisco. A lot of 70s and some 80s farther inland, but very nice weather for the middle of July. It can certainly be a lot hotter than this for inland portions of the Bay Area, so we're getting a break from that. No break from the fog. That spreads back in as we head through the rest of tonight. Future cast showing quite a bit of gray to start the day Wednesday. But like the past few days, it's going to back up towards the coast and even retreats a little bit off the coast. At least the computer models think that we've got a decent chance of breaking through to a little bit of sunshine right along the shore by tomorrow afternoon. Winds are still going to be noticeable, but not that breezy by Bay Area standards. And that helps to keep the fire threat in check. Also, the cooler temperatures, or at least near normal temperatures, mean that we don't have to worry too much about those tinder dry conditions. Wind gusts tomorrow, picking up to that 15 to 25 mile an hour range, a little bit stronger along the coast by tomorrow evening. Temperatures will start off tomorrow morning, mostly in the 50s. Some of the very warmest spots farther east may still be around or above 60 degrees. And then we heat up. It's just a matter of how much. Mid to upper 60s and low 70s by noon around the bay, right around 60 degrees near the coast, with a mix of 70s and 80s farther inland. We keep going right around 80 degrees for parts of the North Bay, mid 80s to around 90 degrees as you head farther inland to the East Bay, and then low 80s once again for the Santa Clara Valley. Temperatures heat up more as we hit the weekend. A little bit of a wiggle to our temperatures the next couple of days, especially farther inland where you drop a couple on Thursday and then climb back on Friday. Similar pattern around the bay while the coast is locked into the low 60s. Everybody warms up a little bit. Plenty of sunshine over the weekend. I think we'll get a break from the thickest fog even right along the coast both Saturday and Sunday. 90 degrees inland, near 70 degrees around the bay for the weekend, and we will keep you updated on that weekend forecast as it gradually gets closer. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll have this evening's dog walking right. forecast.